So a common method of surveying birds is the point count. It's an alternative to um, the transect. It's often quite a lot easier um, to do because you're not having to focus on navigating down a line and looking for birds at the same time. Um, the point count relies on you standing still um, in one spot for a while. Um, so essentially what you're doing is you find a location, ideally a random location, um, and you spend somewhere between three to ten minutes recording any bird that you can see or hear um, in any direction. And there are many different kinds of data you can collect um, during a point count. Um, so the most fundamental data is, of course, what birds are around, so what species are there, and you get an idea of species richness in that way. Uh, but you can also try to identify how many birds you can hear at the same time. If you can hear two birds calling from different places, um, then you know that there's more than one individual around. Um, you can also try to record how far away the birds are. It's often quite difficult to do this with sound, so generally you'd only do this if you can actually see the bird. But you can split your um, survey plot into distance bands. So say anything from 0 to 10 metres is 1, 10 to 20 is another band, and uh, 20 to 30 would be your uh, very distant band. Um, one thing to note when doing a uh, point count is you need to decide how you're going to treat um, birds moving through your survey area. So it's quite common not to count birds which are just flying over because it's quite likely they don't actually live in the place that you're surveying and they're just uh, transiting. Um, but if a bird is displaying, for example, which often means it's kind of hovering above you or singing or flitting from tree to tree, then you would, you would count that um, because it's likely that that bird actually lives in that area. Um, and again, the most basic data you get out of this is species richness, so what's actually around. Um, it is possible to estimate species abundance as well. Um, again, the statistics behind that can get quite complicated quite quickly, um, but that is definitely something that's worth looking into, even out of interest, just to see how many people uh, have been arguing about what is the best method to try and get uh, species abundance estimates from point counts.